In this tutorial, we'll look at some of the features in IK Multimedia's Syntronic 2CS and its J60 synth. To get started, load a preset, then close out the browser in the top right corner, and deselect any highlighted panel icons at the top and bottom. This reveals the main synth panel, and here you can edit your synth sounds. You'll see the J60 layout includes filter envelope, amplitude envelope, LFO, some oscillator settings and extensive filter options. The editable parameters are based on Syntronic 2's own synth engine. So despite the Roland styling, many of these options are not on the original synth. As an example, try the various filter types. You'll see as you click through the options that the controls change function accordingly. Syntronic 2 is a four-part synth that allows you to combine up to four presets with corresponding velocity layers and note splits. It also includes a large choice of onboard effects. You get five effects slots per preset and 71 effects to choose from. To access the effects panel, click on the effects icon at the bottom and use each module's drop-down menu to load the desired effect. Syntronic 2 has a new edit page which allows much deeper editing than the main synth panel. We've initialized our multi and loaded the melodious square lead to part A. Many of these parameters tally with the main synth panel parameters, although the naming may not be obvious at first. Select the edit panel from the icon at the bottom. Try moving the J60 synth panel oscillator to detune, and you'll see the edit panel oscillator to fine tune change. Similarly, adjust the vibrate and the edit panel's element LFO1 changes. There are many additional things we can do in the edit page. Looking at the 32 slot modulation matrix, we've spotted zone LFO1 is connected to the amplifier pan, but the amount is set to zero. If we swap out the mono SVT effects module, and wind up this parameter, You can now hear the LFO controlling the pan. 